I think it's important to give them a message the evening that they've checked in. So they're there, they might be looking around and, you know, this gives them a really quick, easy opportunity to, you know, just reply back to you if they have a quick question. Because sometimes people might have a question and they might just be like, oh, you know, we're stupid to ask this question. We should just be able to figure it out or something, you know, and then that translates into them not starting off having a great experience and they you're getting a crap review, right? So this one, is this is just a really quick message that I just send like that evening, maybe seven, eight o'clock at night on the evening that they're supposed to check in. It just says, hi, Joan, just touching base to make sure you got checked in okay and see if you had any questions. That's it. And, you know, a lot of times they'll reply back to you and say, no, everything's wonderful. I love it. Or they might just say, oh yeah, since you asked, you know, blah, blah, blah. Real easy way to just keep that communication going and making them feel like you're with them, like you care about them, whatever, you know, obviously modify these however you want to sound like you. When you name these, give them a name so that you'll easily be able to tell, like, I, I don't know if you're on here, I've got if you're looking at the video, first have a little code for the specific property that it is. So this says BH checkout. So that's Beach House checkout. I can easily quickly look at it and say, oh, okay, I know what property I need to use this floor because you're going to assign this specific quick reply. You can assign it to specific properties. So you might want to just make it generic or you might want to, you might need to say different things for different properties. This is for when you built your empire and you have dozens of Airbnb properties, right? So this is for checkout. Again, you know, use their name. Good morning, Joan. I can't believe your stay is almost over. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing stay at the beach house to check out. In this case, there was nothing they had to do. So to check out, you don't have to worry about anything. Leave your trash and recycling in the kitchen bin and your dirty sheets and towels wherever is most convenient for you. When packing up, now do this, remind people because you're going to find all kinds of goodies all around. I always used to find socks under the bed. I would find charging cables still plugged into the wall. Those are two really popular ones. And then like sometimes achy food in the fridge. So I just say, when packing up, please be sure to check the fridge and under the bed and check the outlets for charges, et cetera. If we find anything after your stay, we'll let you know, safe travels home and come back again soon. Very simple. And you know, and in a lot of cases, it'll be, please take your trash here and do this with it. Please do your recycling. And here's something based on bad experience that I just want to encourage you to put into your checkout message if you're in an area with a lot of, with a specific climate. So if you're in an area where it's really hot, really cold, I actually had guests in the White Mountains of New Hampshire when the weather, the temperature was 13 degrees below zero. They checked out and they shut off the heat. So guess what happened? The pipes froze and broke and it was a big freaking mess all over the place. Now, to me, okay, maybe you're not from a place, but really it's so flipping cold out. I had a thing on the door so that you couldn't open the door without seeing the instructions that say, please set the heat to low. But, you know, not everybody. So that's the kind of thing, you know, put, I should have put one on the machine at the thermostat. I should have put one on the door and I should have also sent them an email that said, please, big letters, do not turn off the heat or please leave the heat on or something. You know, I'd rather have them leave it at 75 degrees than flipping, shutting it off. But anyway, so stuff like that. I mean, you might want to make sure that they don't turn off the air conditioning because if you've got somebody checking in, you know, potentially that same afternoon, you don't want it to be 87 degrees in there when the people get there or whatever. So you know, reiterating those kinds of things a couple of times. And I also normally would tell people, remind them what time the checkout is. 